As we continue our discussion on the endomembrane system and its relationship to the cell structure, we can now start looking at even more organelles as we take this tour of our cell. And so we can entitle this next flowchart EMS3, which once again stands for endomembrane system, and this will be EMS3. The next sort of organelle we want to look at is known as the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus. You'll sometimes hear this um, uh, called the Golgi body. The Golgi apparatus is simply a, so let's look at the structure first. It's simply um, stacks of membranous sacs. So let's write that down. Stacks of, oops, stacks of membranous sacs. And these membranous sacs are called, the scientific word is cisternae. Cisternae is the uh, plural of this, and each cisternae has its own lumen, so each with own lumen. And we understood from our last video that a lumen is simply an internal space. And we'll write each with own lumen. So this is our Golgi apparatus. You can imagine it, I think, of like a stack of pancakes. So this is a Golgi apparatus. This is what it looks like. Remember the point of the endomembrane system is to not only have everything enclosed within a membrane, we have that checked of course because these are membranous sacs, but to have communication between these things that are part of the system. So how can we have the communication? The communication can be seen through this next part of our flowchart. We can state that each, each stack of Golgi apparatus, let's say, so we'll say each stack um, I actually want to write this a little bit higher, so let me just erase this. I'll write it over here. Each stack, so each cisternae, has two things. It has a cis face. It's called a cis face, C-I-S, pronounced cis, and also a trans face. Cis and trans are opposites. So cis face means that this is the area of the stack that is nearest to the nucleus. It is near the nucleus. So it is pointing towards the nucleus, nearest to nucleus. And specifically, its job is to receive. Its job is to receive. And it's going to receive stuff from vesicles, I'm going to write that down, receive stuff, we'll say from vesicles coming from ER. So we talked about the ER in our previous video, and the ER created those vesicles that pinched off. Once those vesicles pinched off, they're going to have to be received by something. They're usually received by the Golgi apparatus at the cis face. A good way I can remember this is you looking at the receive word and seeing that CI and seeing that come up one more time at the cis face. So the cis face is where we receive stuff. It's nearest to the nucleus. The trans face then is actually going to be closer to the plasma membrane. So it's closest to plasma membrane. So think of orientation. The nucleus is around the middle. That's going to be where the cis face is. And then the trans face is going to be near the... Uh, plasma membrane. This is going to be an area in which we can package. This is where we package stuff that was received after its modifications. So we package stuff received. Remember we received at the cis face, so now once we've received it, we're going to modify it. So we package stuff received after modifying after modifying it. Once we package it, we put it into what? What's a good way to package something? Remember, the endomember system is full of these vesicles. Vesicles are a strong theme in this system. And these vesicles now will go out of the Golgi because they will leave the trans face out of Golgi to, and what is the point of a vesicle? Fuse, right? Out of Golgi to fuse with other membrane.
whether it's the plasma membrane or a different organelles membrane. So this is the basic idea behind it. Uh, you can draw this very simply as, let's imagine this as a cell, and I'm going to draw my trans face right over, or my cis face right here. I'm going to draw another stack right here, another one right here, and another one right here. And this is my nucleus. So now you can imagine these stacks of membranous sacs, these cisternae, are right here. The cis face is going to, let's say, the nucleus wants to send us something. This is a vesicle. The cis face is going to be right here because it's receiving that information, that vesicle from the nucleus. It's going to go through this, get modified, and once it gets modified, it's going to be pinched off as a new vesicle ready to, let's say, go to the next point at which it's going to fuse, let's say, to the plasma membrane, and then leave. Okay? and go to wherever it needs to go. So that's the basic idea behind the Golgi apparatus. In addition, one more thing we want to mention about it, its main goal is to modify proteins. So it's good at modifying proteins. And this is done through a variety of ways. Um, two, I think three simple ways are that you can modify these proteins and after you've modified them, there's a couple of things that can happen. You can actually route the protein to another organelle, whatever may need it, to other organelle. So that's what I mean by route to other organelle. Once you've made that protein, once it's gone through this modification process through the cisternae, you can take it and go give it to another organelle. You can now go to the plasma membrane maybe and fuse with the plasma membrane. Or you can um, even just be secreted from the cell. And I sort of showed that in my drawing. So we can write secretes from cell. So all three of these are sort of end-all, be-alls of the modification that happens at the Golgi apparatus. The next part of EMS3 that we want to talk about, the next organelle, is the lysosome. Lysosome. And before we talk about the actual process, what we want to know is what's in a name. We like to dissect names a lot in biology. Let's look at this name. We know what this prefix means, right? Because I've mentioned it before. What does lyso mean? What do you think? It comes from the word lysis, and lysis is equal to rupture or split apart. Remember hydrolysis, hydrolysis, we split with water. This is another way to say lysis. And you know what som means? Som is just another way of saying body. So this means body. So it's a rupturing body. It's a way to rupture things. So how does it do this? The lysosome, physically speaking and biologically speaking, is a bunch of sacs of hydrolytic enzymes. Hydro... Let me write that again. Hydrolytic enzymes. I just mentioned hydrolysis, right? Because hydrolysis was building or breaking. Remember that word lysis means to break or to rupture? So sacs of hydrolytic enzymes. The lysosome is this structure, just imagine it as like a circle that has it's full of hydrolytic enzymes. These hydrolytic enzymes are ready to rupture things that need to be ruptured, ready to split things that need to be split. There are two sort of ways to categorize a lysosome. A lysosome can be either a primary lysosome, primary lysosome, or secondary lysosome, depending on the state at which it's in. A primary lysosome is defined as something that has been processed in the Golgi and buds off. So this is basically the lysosome at birth, processed at Golgi. So the Golgi is in charge of making, let's say, a nice primary lysosome process at Golgi and then buds off because it itself, look at it right here, this is a lysosome, very simple lysosome, but still a lysosome. Um, this is something that's going to come off the Golgi and bud off as a vesicle. So it buds off. Process at Golgi and buds off. The real action happens once we have a secondary lysosome. A secondary lysosome is the combination of a primary lysosome and a separate independent vesicle that needs to be destroyed. That vesicle, let's say, has toxins in it. That vesicle has some bad stuff in it that the lysosome is going to fuse. The primary lysosome is going to fuse with it and then destroy the vesicle and its contents. So we'll write that down. This is then going to create a structure that destroys vesicle plus contents of vesicle. So that is our function of these hydrolytic enzymes. Hydrolytic enzymes are a good way to break things and destroy things. One interesting note is that the lysosome is membrane-bound. It's obviously going to be membrane-bound because it's part of the endomembrane system, but more importantly, the reason why it's membrane-bound is because you have these weapons, these dangerous hydrolytic enzymes that if 
they were to, let's say, imagine in a cell, let go to be free in the cell, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to cause havoc. They're going to actually kill the cell if they're free-floating. So we have to put them in a membrane. And we put them in a membrane so that we protect the cell from self-destruction. Protects cell from self-destruction. And in addition, we make sure that this lysosome only works at a low pH. So we can write that down um, on the side over here. It only works at low pH. So it only works in an environment, let's say, that has these hydrolytic enzymes within it. Once the hydrolytic enzymes are released, then it becomes sort of not as low pH as, let's say, imagine this area has a very low pH. The rest of the area, if we release them, doesn't have as low pH, so it's not going to work as effectively. That's sort of a sort of safety net that the cell has to prevent self-destruction. So overall, these are our two components of EMS3, Golgi apparatus. Its main goal, its main job is to modify proteins. But what's interesting about it is the way that it modifies proteins. It utilizes the endomembrane, let's say endomembrane ability that it has of receiving things at the cis face and then transporting them out through budding via vesicles at the trans face. And then we have a, a variety of things that can happen once they bud off. In addition to that, we have a lysosome that is birthed at the Golgi, originally it contains hydrolytic enzymes as a primary lysosome, but once it itself fuses with, there's that word again, vesicle, once it fuses with the vesicle that needs to be destroyed, it will destroy the vesicle and its contents, and our cells have a very nice safety mechanism of membrane bounding that lysosome so that it protects itself from self-destruction. And that covers EMS-3.